Hi folks, I'm Nathan with the ebookreader.com. For this video, I'm going to go over uh, how the Kobo ebook store works on the Sony Reader. So, uh, since Sony closed down their uh, ebook stores in North America and in Europe, they're sending their customers to Kobo. Uh, so, once you get your account set up with Kobo and everything's transferred over, uh, your device, your uh, PRST1, the T2, and the T3, uh, they've all gotten firmware updates like a couple of months ago actually. So, if you haven't gotten that now, you'll have to update before uh, you get the Kobo store on here. The way to identify that is, is the uh, old software has has the uh, Sony store right here accessible. Uh, the new software has the Kobo, obviously. Uh, so I had it was a bit confusing for me to get started with this device with the Kobo store on here. Um, for starters, uh, like my Sony eBooks were located in the books section right here. Uh, so I was kind of waiting for my Kobo eBooks to show up in this section, but um, it actually makes more sense because they're located in the purchased content section. Uh, and then you got to uh, download them from there and then they'll appear in your book section. So this is how everything lays out um, in, the, in here and obviously you can use the different sorting arrangements. That way it's a little better because you can see the whole title uh, as opposed to the cover view where you can only see like the first uh, part of the title. Um, and you've also got the different sorting options as well just like with the Sony setup. So um, if you just tap on that button it'll go ahead and download, start downloading that uh, book to the device and then it will add it over to the uh, home screen in your recently added section see it's getting added to the recently added section and then like I said it will also appear in your regular book section um, instead of just the purchase content section so now once it's downloaded it appears uh, in the book section so uh, let's go ahead and show you the uh, Kobo store here there's a couple of things to uh, get used to it's a little different obviously than Kobo or than Sony store so uh, when I first opened it up, I was kind of confused where to navigate, how to like see the different categories. Uh, the trick is, it's all with this little arrow right here. So if you hit this little arrow, then you bring up the different options. You can view the kids section, the top 50, and of course categories. So the home page here, it just shows the top 50 books, and you've got the search bar right here. We can type in searches. Um, Kobo search always isn't, isn't really the greatest, but... Um, and of course you can access the top 50 right here so that's the view all means but uh, I kind of like browsing by category personally so I um, go over in here in the category section what I did is I accidentally tapped that book cover instead of the category so let's go ahead and back out of here that's kind of the problem with overlay sometimes okay so once you select a category there are different options for breaking down the category for subcategories so if we hit this button right here you can actually break it down even more so let's just choose one of these and then uh, the other options here um, you got the sort by right here so if you actually want to find some free ebooks they don't have a section for free ebooks anymore but if you go in here and sort by price it'll sort by lowest price so you get the options for some free ebooks here um, so actually the page buttons don't work for scrolling like they did in the Sony store what you gotta do is you can either swipe down um, to swipe scroll that way or you can just like do it like you're paging forward and either way you swipe it's gonna scroll forward and likewise if you go backwards it'll go back up the list and same with going that way uh, so we've got this little icon right here you can just select to view the details from there I don't know why you would but you can save for preview there so that's kind of a shortcut uh, one thing you might find with some Kobo ebooks is they won't work on your Sony device not all Kobo ebooks are offered in EPUB format and unfortunately they don't actually tell you this anywhere uh, so what you have to do is with paid books it has a save preview option so let's go ahead and sort by uh, bestseller here and then we'll get a paid book option uh, so what you can do with the paid books of course is just go ahead and select the save preview and if that, that that'll get added to your library um, and then you can test it out and obviously if it's the preview isn't going to work then the ebook download isn't going to work so it doesn't happen a whole lot but Kobo does have their own proprietary format uh, only available on some ebooks so I mean it does cause an issue with uh, Sony devices uh, they need to find like a filter for that or something so uh, basically you just have to hit that save preview button oh and another thing with the uh, page here is that you can just scroll through the synopsis you can't use the page buttons again of course you just got to use the uh, usual on-screen scrolling you can go like I said up or down or side to side and it'll scroll forward um, so it's set up for either way so uh, that's basically how the Kobo store works on the Sony devices I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video right here uh, as usual check out the ebookreader.com for some additional information thank you for watching